Right, hello and welcome to <laughs> 90 m Playoffs. Uh, hopefully the hype video played well for you. Uh, we're going to hit control chaos. Very well done, Swag Tust. Um, I am joined today by Aussie Viking. Say hello, Aussie Viking. G'day, g'day. G'day, mate. <laughs> right. <laughs> On time, as You're usual. You're going to get pure Aussie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, as you may hear, I'm a little bit tired because it's morning for me, but don't worry about it. Let's have a look at teams, and we have the Rodder reports available to us. Let's have a look. Right. Starting off with the home team, which is the one true path. James Typhoon's Chaos, chaos uh, team. James, sorry, James. Yes, it is Control Chaos. Control you Chaos. That. Yeah. This is Control Chaos. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a meme in the big O. Uh, as you can see there, um, he's not got the greatest record against elves, um, any elves really. Uh, but James has made it all the way, and his Control Chaos is basically removal. Uh, he says it's Control, but it's removal. Uh, don't let it fool you. Four seasons old, fantastic coach, does know what he's doing, um, but uh, yeah, it should be quite a good game. His last game, he was on fire with his removal, so it's going to be interesting to see how he holds up. Mm, very good. Uh, as we can see here, the overall record of 27-18-15, very controlling to me. Uh, according to the Rodder Report, their strengths are great removal potential, as you'd expect from a four season old Chaos team. That's very good at controlling, should be controlling, not removal. Uh, they have an excellent ball hawk. The weaknesses, however, are no developed ball carrier and a shallow bench, meaning that you can't foul uh, as risk free. Um, and I guess we'll have a look at the actual team now. Here we go. Control chaos yeah. is whatever the hell Shadow did. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, as you can see here, yeah, they, these are very controlly chaos. Um, he said he didn't have a developed ball carrier, but he has an AG4, so I guess that's good enough, right? <laughs> yeah, look, AG4, you know, it, that's going to be more than good enough, except that, you know, no real prote ball protection skills on it. He's just a sick, or like, absolutely sick ball sacker. Like, it's a faux, uh, you know, faux AG5 with two heads there, uh, mm. tackle wrestle and strip ball. That's that's what you want in a ball sacker. That's exactly what you want, yeah. Um, I mean... The Chaos Warriors are looking very controlly. Um, it's very odd to see a Chaos team without a killer. I mean, sorry, control beastman. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used. Yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna take you a while to get used to uh, to the uh, big O way of saying things when it comes to uh, James Typhoon. Uh, but he has had good players in the past. Uh, this is um, a team that did have to go through the group of death. So. Uh, right. It wasn't the greatest. What about so, the group yeah. of just suffering? Did they have to go through the group of just suffering? Oh god, those names <laughs> were terrible. <laughs> what do you mean? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good Sorry, morning. I was a little bit delayed. I, do apologize. <coughs> I have dropped in the prime James Typhoon meme in chat as well. He hasn't lied you enough. Have. Oh, you're you a good man, it. Metal. Okay, he should be lied now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I love it. Everyone is rather so quiet. Good. Everyone who isn't Chubstep is quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was the mixer was set up wrong because I'm on a different um, scene. Um, oh, look at that. that! Look at Fnipper. He's almost like Fnipper. Fnipper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fnipper one two. Uh, he's fantastic. Jump up. He's got everything you want on a Chaos Warrior. Really. Yeah. What are you, What are you gonna do, James? Control the life out of your opponent. <laughs> generally, is how he does it. <laughs> right, tackle, isn't it? it just it just makes so much sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. That's the best way to control people with dodge. Get tackle. But um <laughs> well it'll be interesting to see what happens because uh James has been flirting with the idea of uh re rolling at the end of this season. So depending how his team holds up, I guess. I think his but, problem yeah. is he built this team with the intense purpose intent purpose of, of destroying Papa Nasty. Right. And then XS did it for you, for him. And yeah. Like, oh, okay. Well, what, what, what do I know? Metal is quiet mean? still. For goodness sake. My so my goal cracky. in life has, has has been done. I mean, he's re-rolling. You know, XS and and the rest of Big O One finally stepped up and destroyed Papa Nasty's team. And and I think it took he's a while. Now, it took. It did take a while. 
<laughs> Co-host volumes are low. Oh, that's okay. We're getting onto it, guys. If you can sort of hear it, I might just say it in chat. Um, yeah, well, I am turning you up, and they keep saying you're low, and I'm like, I don't know how much higher I can put you without um, <laughs> deafening everyone. Oh, One moment, guys. No worries. Uh, let's look at the... Uh, oh, man, that's... Why is that not worked? Why? Okay, for some reason... Uh, okay, here we go. Here's Phoenix Guard. I don't know what was going on with my OBS there, but it sorted out, so we'll have a look at the team. I will continue to turn people up because people are crying in chat. Fantastic. <laughs> um, Test one, two, 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 one. I think I, that, guys? I think I turned you down like in Discord because you were too loud, then I realised the mixer was set really low and for you guys. Uh, anyway, yeah. here's Phoenix Guard. A very different team. It's a high elf team that have played one season and have a record of 13-1-3. And they haven't played against Chaos. Probably how they're still alive. Um, or not controlled. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> uh, their strengths are the Agility 5 Ballhawk. And a good one-turn threat, as you'd expect from Elves. And also, as you'd expect from Elves, they don't really have any strong controlling potential. Um, and they don't have any diving tackle. Um, what's... Look at that. There you go. Here's the team. As a thought. One season. 1800 TV in one season. Yeah, it's impressive. It's super impressive. That I love Jean Grey. Jean Grey. Yeah, you mean Jean it's Grey? It's a beautiful piece. Yep. Mm. It pretty much is like almost a reverse of like James's Spore Sacker. <laughs> yeah, it really or a is. mirror, I should say. They, they should be better volume now. Please, actually, honest answers only. Don't troll me. <laughs> um, James with the tactical control. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the Blitzers are fairly bog standard. They do what you need you to do. Gene Gray's very good. That's the AG5. Bullhawk. This okay. team was actually came out of my division. I know um, it. I was going to bring that up. <laughs> we had we had a 2 I think it was a 2 2 draw in the end. It was a really intense game. So it was, it was good fun. Hmm. Fantastic. Azathos, Azathos, Azathos is one of those players that you just can never write him out. He'll, he's, he's really good. At, like no matter how bad the pitch situation looks, he's really, really good at finding, um, just ways around it. You see, there was no RG five at the time we played James because we played really early in in the team's career. So that guy had like Rog at the time we played. So technically. I can't kill an Agi Five. I don't know is that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a fair enough point. I mean, yeah, the the lack of control potential here is, well, it, it's seen as a weakness. But do you really need it as high elves, or do you just need to stay alive and score and outscore it's your seen opponent? Seen as a weakness. Sorry. Uh, the lack of control potential. <laughs> well, when you're going up against the master of control, I yeah. mean. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I did notice point. something um, for both teams. Both teams do not have sure hands, and both teams have strip ball. Yeah, that seems this like a recipe for be... chaos. It <laughs> is, and both teams technically have AG five. Uh, when you know you can include two heads into the mix, so yeah, the ball is just gonna be crazy. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, to be fair, right? normally you'd think, well, surely the chaos are worse off in that. Um, in that map, in that situation, because obviously Chaos really struggle to get inside a, a cage. But when you've got like AG4 and two heads, it's it's not a huge issue, right? I mean, mm. you can handle that. Yeah, and you know, AG AG4 two heads plus tackle strip and wrestle. Like he he's got everything he needs to take care of any ball carrier on this team. Uh, granted, movement's an issue, but also James only has two tackle pieces on his whole team. Yeah, that is, is possibly his biggest weakness. Like I said, Fnipper getting jump up does mean that he did not take tackle, you know, earlier in his career. Lack of control there, hmm. <laughs> hey, good, good morning, Vox, or good evening. Uh, good whatever time of day it is. Oh, God, if, if, if Vox's involved, it's about four hours later than you think it is. All right, okay. I, I wish it was four hours later than it was. 
Yeah, me too. No, uh, that being said, uh, yeah, congratulations on the longest playoff game in Rebel history, by the way. The Ooh. longest actual time on the pitch. Oh, did it, did it go to Kirks? I heard about that. And wasn't that like late, late, late night for you boys? Uh, wait, it, it wasn't when we started. <laughs> <laughs> you poor, poor bastards. <laughs> Three hours and 15 minutes of Blood Bowl in one match. Like, it no. was insanity. It was crazy. Mm. And what was it? The kickoff ended up being like almost 12 minutes long. It was, it was so, that, that, we, had, we had to put a half time show on because it, each team took four minutes to set up at half time. There was a pause at one point during the half time set up. And then someone got perfect defense, and there was another four minutes from the. And it's like, guys, you really don't need four minutes of the set up. You, you don't. <laughs> Yeah. Control him, James. Control him. Control him, good. Control him. Um, yeah. That's good. That's good news that James told us that he's getting ready because I've been rapidly clicking the search button the entire time. Let me. I reckon we're all gonna have like RSI in our left index finger if you're right. Uh, sorry, right-handed from just clicking that search button. All our streamers. <laughs> yeah. As we don't need to look at the teams really that much anymore, I just swap I back to the game. I love that sign-up ticket, you know. That's yeah. so good. I had to find it's a good so place good. for it. <laughs> just, bam, yeah. just bam it in the corner. I mean, I mean Vox, we had to have, we had to send out for food breaks. We were on, like, emergency relief for casters. It was... <laughs> it was... <laughs> no one had planned around that. Game is live and I am off. Fantastic. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is me rapidly clicking my mouse trying to find the game. <laughs> oh, by the way, Metal, um, uh -oh. you're going to have to just give me a little bit of a, a slap up the head if I do swear. I don't generally use any of the heavy swear words, but words like bastard yeah. and stuff like that. Is that acceptable? I, 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 you know what, right? I, I'm not even 100% sure where that sits on, on the on the scale. As long as it's not, as long as you're just not coming in and dropping like... Chaining uh, for the sake of it. If if you're nah. if you're using swear words as punctuation, we're probably the wrong problem. Basically, it's an anti-Scottish rule, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie oh. metal isn't your dad. Uh, well, you know, metal's everyone's dad. You know, that's why he pulls out all the good dad jokes. <laughs> Killjoy falling victim to the the auto mod, whilst um. The game is now live, gentlemen, and I am you know plugging in. I, you know what I can do? I think. I, I can't. I'm not actually in a... In a, a I was going to say, I'm not a, if I was a mod in this channel, I could control Swagtusk. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm not a mod in this channel, unfortunately, so I can't do that. Uh, is that Dirty undoable. You've just, you've just ruined a perfectly good joke. <laughs> I mean, I can, I, I can control all of you, what you know. I'm not going to. Anyway, the game is live, gentlemen. Back into... The uh, results and find out what the fan factor rules and things were, and we'll get go from there. We'll get Jen's actually been. There we go. Watching the time. I was about to talk about potential yes. reducing. What was the TV differential? Did we see? Uh, uh, it was only 10. It was only 10, 10. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, the Phoenix Guard won the toss, chose to kick like a properly good L team. Oh, I like James, that. you're a good man. James is a good man. Have a look at his inducements. Hang on. The one true path. Rolled an 11th number of fans plus 7 fan factor compared to Phoenix's guard paltry. It's still a bit early in the in the EU to be fair, but yeah. the Phoenix guard rolled a 4 plus 10, so they were way um, out over match. Inducements, there was not any inducements. There is in fact a referee rest area giving both teams oh, a break. Yes. Yeah, this is James's stadium which has a ref rest area. I feel like he's going to need oh, a bench. The ref will go, it's in the way, hang on. There you go. Yeah, that's Actually, the worst place to put it. I, I put I put it there for recaps, and I forgot to move it back. Uh, <laughs> look, it's very uh, early. It's interesting you say that because previously James actually did have the um, the security gate. Hmm. Uh, so I, I it looks really like he's like changed up. On a, on a bash team. So I'm expecting a rock to take out um, what's his name, Fnipper. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure the big old would rejoice. Can we, oh, can yeah, we have I, a double rock and double. nail Fnipper and the AG5 in one fell swoop? Sure. I, I could go down with that. You know, uh, I'm quite happy to roll with the, the AV9. <laughs> the, the double rock. Woo! <laughs> yeah. 
It's sniper. Rock sniper in the crowd. <laughs> if James doesn't go far in playoffs, he's re-rolling. Well, like I say, he's, he's, you know, he built the team to be a natural predator of Papa Nasty, and then Papa Nasty re-rolled for next season. And James is going, but I only just got to, to big old one. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was all so part of the plan. <laughs> And I don't want to destroy Excess because I like Excess. <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> See, Papa Nasty knew this was coming, so he decided to waste the guy's time. Waste James' uh, time. It is, it is, it is utterly 4D chess from Papa Nasty, isn't it? It's just <laughs> he's, he played it. He completely outplayed the guy. Oh, it's a perfect defense Ooh, for Phoenix nice. Guard. It could be argued he controlled him. That's yeah. not going away. This cast people. No, it will never go away. Every time I refer to James Typhoon, it will be a control chaos team. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, this is this is Sorry. really good for Azathoth, this perfect fence, because look at that. Oh, all your claws over there. Well, we're yeah. going over here. Over here, yeah. Now there's no free claw hits. Having breakfast. You can, you can generate one if Seville the Third can get a push. Yes. I also have to say, I'm, I'm really impressed by um, Azathoth's naming scheme that you managed to find enough phoenixes to make this work. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know yes, what? Too. I just that is I, I, I missed a golden opportunity to play Rise of the Phoenix by Tenacious D before this. Should have done that. <laughs> the one thing I don't get is the random catcher called Chol. I, I think I was that ad admitting, throwing his hands up and going, "I haven't got a 13th. <laughs> uh, Chol. Chol. <laughs> if anyone's in chat and can do some research, maybe we're just completely missing it, but. Yeah, that's yeah. We'll just go with Chol. <laughs> Short kick as well, but it looks a bit, which is mm. quite scary for the chaos. Okay, ops not pick up with free toes. The Aji four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting choice. <laughs> he was like, "Wait, I've clicked my ball carrier first. Um, blocks." <laughs> <laughs> and Remember, I, I need to control. <laughs> Hmm. Cheese X with the really ah. unfunny joke. Um, Swagtusk, Swagtusk coming in with the statistics and the fact. Thank you, mate. That's a Phoenix is some Hebrew Bible thing. Shal is Phoenix <laughs> right. in in. There you the, go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we should ask so... Gerbier. He would know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you that... say his name three times. He'll probably appear. <laughs> You know, you apple a skink. Yeah, you know, you apple a skink three times yeah. and he shows up. That is clearly the summoning ritual of yeah. jump stepping. Jump step? You mean Garbier, right? Garbier. Right. Why did I say Garbier? Jesus. Oh my god. It's too early! Oh, Blood my big old clutches. Ah, oh, this is a glorious time for me. It's at ten past seven, you know, I'm feeling bright, chipper. Puts it in with Rasputin. And we don't get the knockdown. No. What a shame. <laughs> you only claw yeah, that, that it in turn, be... and you get nothing out of it. I <laughs> know uh, it's fine. He pushed him back. He's clearly controlling his pitch position. This, this is control. <laughs> he, he, he can't, he can't go where he wants to go. He goes where he controls him to go. <laughs> Wikipedia <laughs> for the win. Yeah. Oh, Wikipedia. We live in such a great age. It's like Google this, got the answer. Great. What would you do without stuff like Wikipedia and like IMDb? IMDb is the best thing ever, right? Um, in terms of, you know, when like you're watching a movie or something, you're like, I know that actor, but I can't remember where I've seen him from. IMDb yep. is is the one. Like it's uh, just the, the stuff that we have access to is incredible. Oh, really? uh, I, you you and I, Metal, would definitely remember Encyclopedia Brit uh, Britannica. So. <laughs> Uh, and we'd probably spend half an hour going through the index trying to find out our topic and then another half an hour going through all the encyclopedias to go there. It, uh, which, which one will it be in of the 12? Uh, exactly. It was always 12, wasn't it? Right, here's a, here's a choice, right? Clint the second. I like this. His decision, okay, he's like, I'm going to put it on strength four so it's harder to, to say it'll be an uphill. Mm. On the flip, flip, flip side... Wrestle and strip kind of doesn't care about strength four. Exactly. Very true, yeah. I mean, there's no sure hands on either team, so it's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and the other the other side is he doesn't have to be as careful with his positioning for the dive because 
Like, it's like, okay, the dirty player's there to make sure he can't just base up and get a one dice, but he can't get a one dice anyway because he's strength four. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know if it's actually... It, it seems on the oh. face of it, all right, but hello. First blood, we've got a stun. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I think the main reason why he's also done it is that, you know, strength four, as you mentioned, metal, but also all of these other pivotal pieces, you know, all these good warriors are now in position to just lash out where he needs to, including even three toes, if need be. Well, yeah, it's, um, it's quite nice the way he's kind of spread out a little bit, so wherever they attack from, he's definitely got a blitz with claw, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people are saying that claw does nothing against elves, but these are high elves. Doesn't it do something against armor eight? It certainly does. Yeah. Like the majority of the elves are armor eight, so. Yeah, the only thing on the, on the on the elf team that are armor seven is the captains. Mhm. Mm yep. I also like as a as a thought um, deciding to go for the beastman straight away. Because he has more likelihood to just randomly remove a beastman than he is going to randomly remove a chaos warrior. Well, that's how you fight chaos. You just whittle yeah. the numbers down by aiming for the AV8. You bully the because... goats. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what you do. Oh, just straight off control blitz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hakeem Phoenix. Find the control block and stun. He's awfully controlled as Joaquin Phoenix. Mm. What's wrong with you? Sharpie, 1712, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Precision control. <laughs> Precision <laughs> control, yeah. <laughs> if you don't, right, here is a, a, a public service announcement. If you don't like the word control, you should probably not watch this match. Yeah, just, just come back in like an hour and a half, then we'll stop saying control. <laughs> You know what, the reason I think I like three toes being free, actually, and not carrying the ball, is because, you know, if anything goes south, it means he's absolutely free to respond to it, and he's, yep. he's got, like, in, in the whole, he's not actually a des designated carrier, he just happens to be IG4, which makes him really good. Okay. Um, if I'm but, I'm... he's the sacker, so if the elves yeah. get away with it, if they can't outrange three toes... It's almost you? not worth going for it because they're just going to lose the ball again afterwards. And, you know, what, movement 7 versus movement 6 except for, like, the catches for 8. Yeah, I, I think he's going to keep pace. Well, not only that, but because they have to attack, they're losing movement when they have to move, try and move past the chaos team unless they bring it back. If they recover it and move it back into their half, mm -hmm. so it's a problem for him. But if they are trying to pass the chaos team... It's actually in his advantage. Yeah. Uh, Sherlock and Coach Cool, thank you both for the follows. Uh, I was going to say, is it not worthwhile? Because remember, we've got a bribe on both teams, and the High Elves have extra mans. So I think a foul actually might be appropriate here. I just, it's picking the target you want to foul. James has been quite good yeah. to protect the few beasts that are actually worth protecting. Like, there's no good mm -hmm. foul. Sturge Swarm. He's one of, if not your best foul target. I, I was, no yeah, I was gonna say like he maybe should have blitzed just a rookie beastman, so then he could have got a foul on the guard. And yeah, guard I don't think I like that. that would have been my line of play. Uh, but if he could have brought down C Carvey, he could have knocked at least two assists out three if he was willing to base the dirty player as well. Mm -hmm. Because then you can you can base the dirty player from the side of the dirty player and foul from above the dirty player. Because that negates his assist, so you get two assists rather than one. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, Sam Slade and Road Warrior, thank you also for the follows. <laughs> I feel like yeah, the you're about to get, are going to interrupt so much. <laughs> you're about to get a ton of Aussie followers. Yeah, <laughs> Tell you what, these elves are getting well. controlled. <laughs> yeah. That guy's exactly. being controlled into the second, next drive. I'm pretty sure every time you say controlled, Chubbs, someone's going to follow you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe drop yeah, the audio. Yeah, you should probably kill the follow pop up audio. I think. Oh, oh, that's right. Right. So it looks like we'll probably set up for the foul as well here on uh, Jacques and Phoenix. Uh, just to secure the. Uh, Joaquin. What's wrong with you? Nah, 
you know, these <laughs> European names, I can't understand them. I think he's American. We'll get better in a little while. Oh, we won't hold that against him. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a safety cut. Three Tours is the ultimate in safety control, Beastman. He is solid. He's actually, you know what? He's actually the best player on the team, in my opinion. He's so good. And I he like needs, this. He needs to protect him. I like yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. That, putting out that, like, you know, just throwing out a signal that, hey, I could potentially, you know, I've got a, not a scoring threat per se, uh, because I think he's just one square out for two GFIs. No, he can make it with two GFIs. I think the bigger deal is, yeah, I would totally attack that player. But it's going to leave you in a surf. Because the one thing this elf team is really lacking is a lot of sidestep. He didn't foul. Oh. James, what the What's hell? I I saw him click and head there, and did he just not click the elf? Hmm. Is this like a restrained James? He's got bribe. Like, there's nothing to lose. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the this is great positioning, because if you want to attack three tours, you've got to get fouled. You've got to get surfed, even. Sorry. Because you have to put a mark on the sideline to stay away from docking. So I really like this position from James, actually. In that, his best player looks like it's exposed, but it's actually kind of a trap. Look, James was the Div 2 winner. So, you know, he didn't just get there by chewing everything else up. He, there were three killer Nurgle teams out there. Uh, then you had a whole bunch of other excellent coaches, a whole bunch of Blizzards teams as well, but they got mangled. You know, uh, you had Excess in there... It, it was just a really solid, solid div, and he's come out of it on top. Like he lost a lot of players. I mean, a lot. If you ever, if you go to Rebel.net and check out his previous plays, you'll see what happened. I think actually for the high elves, it might be worth turning this into a fight against these two exposed beastmen because yep. we're in a world where if you'd have knocked that guy down, and I might have committed a reroll of that. You've got the guard on the ground in a foulable position, but now we've got not. We've literally got not enough from those pushes. I think I'd have re-rolled one of those hits to bring the guard. If you'd have knocked him down on the first block, you could have then blitzed away the rookie and got a big foul because James doesn't have a ton of guard. So that play is actually really key to his to his uh, defense. I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely level the playing field on the guard side of things. Uh, Why did you do more, XS? Oh, no, sorry, there's one more. Didn't even see that one. Docking. Yeah, thank you to uh, <laughs> Incest, to say Barks and Sandun yeah, and Harmal follows. I can't find the setting anymore because there was an update to Streamlabs OBS and they've changed where you change the, the volume of notifications. So that's very handy. Thank you. Thanks, Streamlabs. Very cool. Uh, it's super right. No, I, no, I know it's super easy, but they've moved where it is and I can't find it. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you where that. it is? Yeah, sure. Right, go open up a browser on your interwebnet. Type in Streamlabs. Uh... Okay, click the link at the top. It should be purple. Click login. Are you, are you keeping up with this? Login with Twitch. Oh, oh, right? What's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's either this show or indigestion. And then if you click the widget gallery, which has a big purple new location and the pop-up that says, this has moved and it's all here now, the first box is the alert box. Oh my god, right, okay. <laughs> it's got a giant purple sign that says this is a new location. I mean, it's... You know, I, I hadn't seen the new Streamlabs update and I figured it out. Okay, there you go, that's that sorted. Uh, meanwhile, the Chaos have managed to control a nice little cage in the left. Yeah. They are controlling this, 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 this little area of the pitch, aren't they? they, they, they yeah. It's controlled. It's controlled. Following from Muppets. Thank you, Kadenek. <laughs> they used it's to just be a notification settings bit, and it was really easy, and people like to change things for no good reason. Can we, okay, right, I'm gonna... Do we like that? Dokken is part of this. He's the best, one of the best players on this team. I mean, what's wrong with you? Yeah, that was but also one. having strength five, you know, within easy reach of the ball as well. That corner is not going to get blitzed anytime soon. No. I think he's trying to basically tell the elves he wants them to fight the rest of his team and not this team up here. 
We, it's worthy of note, right? This turn has been massive for James Typhoon. Before that knockdown, before anything, this has been a massive turn. He has now progressed the fall ball further up the pitch than he ever has in playoffs. <laughs> Fears Holy the shit, metal. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's still on, but it's much quieter right, now. No, this is this is his second time in playoffs. Mm -hmm. His first yep. time in playoffs, he was against Rumblebee. Oh. Um, and Rumblebee did this ridiculously random tactic of throwing his one of his werewolves at James's cage. Got in there, got knocked down, and James spent six turns fouling it with a chainsaw for no damage. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, he, he basically went, my strategy here is to take out your wolf and then progress up the pitch. And the wolf never got taken out. So the first, it, on his own drive, he ended up, because he overcommitted to it, making it about three squares into his opponent's half. And then yeah. Rumbleby scored on his drive. James did manage to push him into a faster score. But then in the second time, he got completely swamped on flesh columns. And obviously it was a one-season chaos team then, so it was nowhere near as deadly as it is now. But Are on you the as controlling? On the whole, yeah, it wasn't. As, it didn't have as much control. No, I mean, I think he controlled the life out of that werewolf. It couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> it sounds like Alpaca's game in, um, what, uh, about three, four days ago. Um, he just kept on trying to foul the opponent's wolf. It just wouldn't go anywhere. And then forward progression was just not non-existent. So, but, but in, in any case, that means that the ball is not further than it's ever been. And it's in scoring distance. And I, and again, I like it being on the Warrior because he needs... After this, you'll need one random Kaz or another touchdown on his level. Yeah. That would be really handy to get, like, guard on that player. That would be It's also just an easy really 2 controlling. plus for a handoff as well. To three toes if he needs to. Mm, absolutely. Although that being said, he's you know he could get guard on it because extra guard would be really good for his team. But he probably needs yep. to get more control and take mighty blow. <laughs> more control. <laughs> We're gonna just continue hit, hitting beastmen and seeing if we can randomly break their armor, which we did, but it's only a stun. I'm a little disappointed that this was the the last action of the turn was to punch him because there's no one left to foul him. Yeah. Should that have worked? I think should that have just been a knockout? Phoenix, Arizona maybe should have been kept around to do the foul. Honestly. It's Wiki and Phoenix. Although, Manu, yeah, you, you literally punched him at Phoenix, Arizona's feet, so... Yeah. But this is a kind of a game where, where James is like, I'm happy, just keep my players over here doing nothing, blitz him with claw, might yep. blow once a turn, and you just go and fight some random beastman and a really good warrior who's been... Com yeah, I think he's the blitzer, though, isn't he? He's, he's left his floor very, very uh, vulnerable to a blitz here. I would I would like to see an attack on that, to be honest. Yeah. He is blodged, though, and, of course, Fnipper lamentably doesn't have tackle. Oh, yeah. Where's your tackle? Oh, oh, he's all the way down here on Rasputin, who's just hanging out. Yeah, he's been chasing <laughs> Marcus Phoenix around with this Chaos Warrior for about five. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, right? The, the, the downside of this strategy is, like, if Azathoth gets a couple of knockdowns next turn, this could leave this oh, warrior incredibly oh, hard to That's a disappointing result. Getting very unlucky with the, um, with the dice at the moment, trying to find the power, that is. I, I would like to see mm. from Azathoth Rasputin getting knocked down and the biggest foul coming in and just nailing him because he's he's totally exposed. You know what? Yeah, that's that's what you should do. You should block the beastman here to try and get a random Kaz and then he needs to just blitz <laughs> Rasputin and then foul with Phoenix Arizona. That's what he needs to do. Yep, that's exactly Azathoth what I doesn't do. need an early score. All he needs to do is protect the life out of Rachel Summers, because that's not a difficult one turn with a movement mm. nine catcher. Kidanek, both yeah. teams have a brave due to the referee vest area. Hmm. It's not the way I would have blocked him. No, I don't like that either. <laughs> Unless he's trying to maximize block dice, but James has managed to control people's available resources by <laughs> building a referee rest area so he knows exactly what everyone is, is fielding. Mm -hmm. There we go. What do you mean movement nine isn't a one-turner? What are you saying? 
it's not a natural one turner, but it's a one turner. Yeah. Yeah. I would just love to see him just put put marks on this chaos on this chaos warrior, like from below, punch it sideways, punch it kind of down diagonally back from like the thrower or something, and then just surround it and foul it out. Yeah. You've got a bribe. You you've already given up the decision to not fight the ball. Exactly. So kill James's best player with a well attempt to kill James's best player. Also, with a it's to tackle Mighty Blue Claw. That's one you really yeah. want to get rid of. Well, this is a discussion I was having in the Varkson versus Pink game. I felt that Varkson should have spent a lot more time. At least run, it's killed. Movement I, I felt that Beastman. Varkson should have spent a lot more time focusing on tackle players. Because, as elves, I mean, I know he doesn't have an, a huge amount of dodge, dodge, but he's got enough to cause James a problem if James doesn't have access to tackle. Yeah. Yeah, but a dwarf runner isn't moving nine. Mm. I think we're just being a little bit flippant at this point. Yeah. Flippant? <laughs> Fen flippant? No? He really does as well. I've actually, you know, again, having played Varkson, he does risk Phoenix a lot more than some of his other players. And we are Phoenix. going to foul the guard block Beastman. Which Phoenix are you asking about? Phoenix, Arizona. Unlucky. No, he's thrower. Phoenix, son of Agonar. Weak. <laughs> yep. really, that, that was really weak. At least it wasn't a double one. Yeah, no. Double ones are worse. At least it wasn't the brave gone already. Hmm. That ain't no bludger, son. Rachel Summers right, again, is in trouble. Right. Why would you do that? Like, is there a world where that doesn't get smashed with Claw Mighty Blow right now? That would be my first point. action. <laughs> I don't think I'd do anything else. I would control the life out of Rachel Summers. Right I now. would commit a reroll to it as well. I might even then form my cage around it and foul it if it didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's joking, folks, but he is not. He is not joking. Anyone who thinks, you know, you've got the dirty player in range. And knock back, yeah. push back, knock down, and then bring your players over, sweep the dirty player up, and but smash it. The other thing is, Metal, like, it, dirty player, one assist, you know, it just hit it's it. Hit it, foul it. You don't even need to move the cage. You, you got a good chance of still breaking armor regardless. Well, you probably don't pile on, because if you pile on, you get fouled in return. So, oh, yeah. yeah. You've actually got one assist from Fnipper. Because you're not putting 168. Oh no. Chaos, We've got him fluffed it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, you random. Yeah. Oh. That okay. is taking a quick oh, hit wait, we're on the uh, oh. catcher. Oh. And that is a good KO. Spoilers. Oh, whoops. I'm a little bit ahead. I better put animations on to keep track. You don't have you animations don't on? Ah! <laughs> Why would you hate without I animations? Hate. I. I CCL, I don't have it on. Yeah, but this isn't CCL. He was just playing yeah, CCL. He was late. He didn't come oh, in and talk it. to me I beforehand. I wasn't even late. No, I was not late. He didn't. See, here's Metal the problem, Ozzy. Late. I couldn't get the volumes of the mics set correctly because you weren't here beforehand to do it. <laughs> okay, I'll take that one. Yeah. I'll take that one. Uh, meanwhile, we'll just power the rookie beastman. He's putting not? pressure on the back of the cage now. Mm. How can, you know what, right? I understand disliking the animations if you're trying to chain back to back to back games. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'd really like my movement seven thrower smashed in the face by a Chaos Warrior. Yeah. I mean, powers, powers do exist on these dice, right? That's a choice. Also, if he doesn't get them the first time, you can always just send him Rasputin. He's got really. He's trying to force uh, a score next turn, I think, because this is becoming quite. Uh, yeah, it's not been good, is it? No. Uh, the elves are going to take a few hits though in reply for their hubris. Interesting there that um, that Gzex has come in with. I feel like Azza needs to make up his mind after Azza has made up his mind. Hmm. It's a nice, nice delayed decision making there, Cheese. <laughs> he needs to decide what he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's just... that's the KO on the guard block, Beastman. That's nice. That's a good one. Pity we don't get the stamp on it. But I guess we bring in more elves for the slaughter. Uh, I mean, control, excuse me. Sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> the TVs yeah, with the memes, were, were very similar. There was like a 10 TV difference. Yeah, there was a bribe was on both teams due to that. That being said, because the TVs were so close, it does mean James is doing this without 
a, um, a verb, which could be really problematic. Could be. I mean, considering the chaos. Yeah. He is down. He's being outbashed by high elves. Well, he's not technically being outbashed by high elves. It's too out controlled. Which, yeah, out controlled. Being out -controlled. <laughs> but mind you, he hasn't really taken the full fight to him. He's just like, you know what? I'll march up the field. I'll put myself within two squares of the TD line. Uh, have my AG4 one square away. You can come at me, and then when you do, well, control. I would chaos love to know there. how you're planning to surf the plus movement when the guy in front of him's got sidestep. Oh yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Uh, who said that? I, I almost said it myself, but then I was like, I oh, sidestep the end. Never mind. Just going to take what the blocks feeling? as they come. Doc and getting a pow. You did see, say pows exist on the dice. And um, Phoenix. Dice. Phoenix is injured. Yay. Yeah. Are we apple in that? I don't know what it is yet, but are we apple in that? It's an MNG. MNG. We did not apple the MNG. Mm. Right. So we're now playing a high elf team without a thrower. What? <laughs> that is the elf's own mistake. For doing that, they yeah. didn't have Why to do that. Why did you put that guy against a claw mighty blow player? Oh, like, what was that about? He needs this to be a knockdown because he needs to get the sidestepper off the ball. Uh oh, hello, that's a stun, that's very handy. I yep. don't know if we've done enough damage here though to not be able to score. I feel like he's still got to run the touchdown in. No, <laughs> he's committing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I think this say that's uh, bold. The other thing is, Metal, the biggest threat to the ball is currently knocked out. Yeah, but there's things can go wrong. Oh, yeah. You, you push the rookie lineman into it because there's no gap next to the rookie lineman. Right? Wait, 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 directionally, no. no. Yeah, it's, he was probably meaning from down below with Rasputin, but the, yeah. no, that wouldn't have worked. I was trying to work it out, but uh, there was no there was way. Too many, there there's too many chaos bodies. There's yeah. too many elf bodies in the way that required dodges. If there was no sidestep, you could have done it, but sidestep makes it annoying. Mm -hmm. It was the sidestep that was the problem. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> that's a, Rachel Summers is in a little bit of trouble, right? Uh, I would say quite a lot. <laughs> One die surf on, on Rasputin. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't either, <laughs> to be well, honest. It's, like, you it's screw that up and you could be claw mighty blow in the head. Well, you could have probably done the surf, but it would have been a massive commitment of players. Like, you he would have, have had yeah. to score if yeah. he did the surf, because he wanted to stall. No, I, you know what? It was probably there, Killjoy, but doing that... <laughs> meant that he then had to score and he doesn't want to score he doesn't want to give the elves two turns that's why he set up this defense and he's trying to rely on his superior strength and control abilities to protect the ball for one more turn <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the Surf and the Chaos Warrior is a decent idea. It's just mm. scary to do. And then you fluff up a GFI. Oh. <laughs> yep. That's a thing. I do love high elf screams. That's so much fun. Mmm. All that for a one dice. That one dice yeah. was super scary after the fact. Yeah. Is he just going to random or kill the ball with the guard player? Oh my god. I you know what? That's what he's. <laughs> with yeah, the reroll, I'd be happier with that. Mm. There is no reroll. <laughs> no, it's gone now. <laughs> well, you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. You've generated a situation where you're about to get smashed in the head on a bunch of players. You probably. Um... It's probably yeah, it's I mean, probably worth like, potentially losing a few players to the control team if you can get the ball on the ground and they can't score. I don't know if you could necessarily well, stop them from scoring though. <laughs> well, if a bad scatter into a bad scatter, it could a bad be a scatter, threat. yeah. They could fall. I feel like I anywhere. would like to see Rachel Summers dodge back away from where they are because right now, on on James' next turn, all Fnipper needs to do is punch Prey to Phoenix. And then there's a beastman who can blitz Rachel Summers off the pitch. And I don't like giving up a free surf on your best one turn attempt. Hold up. Wait uh... a minute. <laughs> Something ain't right. Oh, you're right. 
Is this just like sacrifice a guard piece? I, am I missing something here? If someone well, that, that munches suddenly some Flipper's crisps. got a new target. Oh, hang okay. on. He's got two players on the ball now. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to work out what's the plan here. Uh, I think the plan is to, to just pray the chaos fail something. Just throw bodies at it. If someone munching crisps, yep. someone, eh, uh, Monkey Chunks is asking. Are you munching crisps, Ozzy? No, I'm not. I don't have no, crisps. No, I'm not even eating. Oh, I wish I had crisps. That'd be nice. Um, no, it's surely right. Without sidestep on any of these elves, this isn't as complicated as, as anyone would like it to be. Oh, hang on. Oh, hold on. What's he doing? Why are we doing Ooh, that? <laughs> Where's he going Throwing next? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> He's gonna throw it straight. He's gonna smash him into the pack as well. I don't know if it's enough. I don't know. That's such a rowdy play. Which name? I don't have. Keep saying players. I have no idea which names go with which players. <laughs> um. Same. <what's> this? <laughs> where are you going next? I mean, what's, where? Where do you go with this? That isn't utterly dangerous. He did kind of screen himself off there. I don't know why we blitzed that. Oh dear. Oh. Uh, second fail, GFI. Mm. Oh. Oh. Whoop. Phoenix. Right, Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona. It's I just feel like allowing your players to get so bashed up on turn seven is, is not the way to win this game. And the other thing is, Phoenix Feeder is niggled. He's, He's one about guy to get pommed, isn't he? To be fair. Yeah. Because you can ignore yeah. Prey to Phoenix. I, would, I don't think I'd... I, would, we, would we pile it on? No, babes. Probably not worth it. Probably not worth it, no. <clears throat> no. Is... James managing to control his desires to pile on. <laughs> it's very hard to do. But when you see that KO, you're just like, I'm not going to doctor foot this. So... Uh... He could set up a double surf, should he want to. Uh oh Meanwhile, Joaquin... Of course, he might be surfing a, a dead guy if, uh... Because you can surf that guy. Yeah. You can surf that guy. It's a bit of work. Uh, oh, okay, we're just going for the score. Hmm. I think I would have done a few more blocks before then. Yeah, and I yeah. probably would have used uh, three toes to actually do that hit then. I think I would have at the very least made a three dice from yep. uh, Snipper, or whoever it was, not Snipper, the one below him, on the sidestepper guy. I can't remember which case where it was. Needless to say, James has got himself into the end zone. One love. See how the chaos work out? Mm -hmm. That's one back for the chaos. Mm -hmm. How many back for the high elves? That would be two. two. Is that enough to one turn? He does have a bench, so technically he's got 10 men. Mm. His, oh god, Jean Grey stayed out though. That is... Yep. You yeah. need that one to wake up. And his guard stayed out as well. Unfortunately. So he's two best players, pretty much. It's just that would get odd. have stayed out. In return, the guard did was the one that stayed out for, uh, for James, so... Come on, James, don't do this. Don't do this, mate. This isn't a good defense. I mean, there's a big hole. <laughs> yeah, I what? noticed that. Um, like, Aggie the second, are you going to do anything? Ah, oh, okay, he's nice. doing the um, up front one, one turn defense. I kind of wouldn't hate him actually putting Chaos Warriors, just three Chaos Warriors on the line. Because there's no guard from Azathoth with him being KO'd. Yeah. You put three Chaos Warriors on the line, and this is a very difficult one. There we go. There That's we go. Better. Good lad. You're looking at, you know, one dices and red dices all day. <laughs> G6, open for a bingo. <laughs> he says, if this basing continues, we might get that pitch clear bingo. <laughs> <laughs> you can live in, live in hope. How goes the control game? Yeah, pretty good, Derby. Uh, we've got one injured uh, plus movement throw up. Uh, the only thrower, and we've got two KOs, which are the strip ball uh, plus agility, uh, 
basically the ball sucker and the AG niggled piece. And just one, one KO'd beastman. So going very well. Say there was a few missed opportunities that first drive for the high elves to hit some very key targets. Um, yeah, and stream lack of fairly. I mean, yeah. yeah, how do we feel about that first that first drive? I feel like the high elves kind of played it very standoffish and then went, you know what, maybe I should do something. Yeah. And then tried to do something just far too late and uh, I don't know, I just... It's a very interesting line of play. I feel like, okay, if you're not going to commit, don't commit, but don't then commit right at the last second. Because that throw MNG is big for this match. And of course, it's because it's an MNG, it's, it's out for next match too. That mm. is a really bad situation to be in. Because, frankly, like, Kyle really like their throws. You are assuming he makes it to the next match, of course, Metal. Yeah. Well, you know, you've got... you've <laughs> right, okay, every, every decision you make, yeah. especially in the first half... Has to be towards winning this game and then looking and towards then looking next game. to the next one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh... But uh, I can also say that James did miss a lot of opportunities as well. Like right at the end there, uh, he didn't use up his last reroll. He still had another Chaos Warrior to use on the um, uh, far right hand side of yeah. the cage, and he, he also had surfing opportunity. And I think I understand know, why he blitzed with ball carrier though. Looking back <coughs> on it on the balance, it is you obviously he's a... trying to get the level. He was going for the magic Kaz in a touchdown, wasn't he? Yeah. The yeah, five SPP would... player. That'd be the only reason I could see. But it was a bit a bit early. Yeah, he could have controlled a few more elves in that time. At least one. <laughs> one. I agree with Sam Slade on that one. He needed to commit to better fouls, especially because mm -hmm. James did leave a warrior with tackle. And just perfect flopped. defense from the one oof. true path. Big oof. oof. Yeah. Oh, man's lane. <laughs> Why? Just step away. I know. <laughs> it's a control team, boy. He's going to go all man's lane. <laughs> What's yeah. he doing? Yeah, he's, he's got to do that and then move. Move everything to one side. There we go. Okay. Oof. Yeah, the guy goes the other way. Because if you'd have if you'd have kept that guy where he was, oof, oof. Technically, still do this. It's very early. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm a chorf player, so one turn. Right, touchdown. hang on. Really, my hang thing. <laughs> right, no, wait, 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 wait. We block Sevil down to get him out of the way. Oh, Don, whatever. But you, you know, he's a free hit, so you might as well. If we put a player next to the movement. And then blitz from behind the rookie, push it into the plus move, who then pushes into that gap. Then we hit with the blitzer. We need to bring another player around there. Push him there. I think we can still do this. Mm. I think we can still do this. Yeah, I think so as well. Chat can probably see me moving my mouse around trying to work out how to do it. I think it's possible. Uh, I, I was watching you there, Chubb, and yeah. And you, can see, you can see him. Spoiler! The, the, the problem is, Chubb's just trying to figure it out while not knowing how to do one turns. Well, I kind of do, but they never I'm work. I'm only kidding, Chubb's I'm only kidding. Every time I've tried it, we succeed the pushing about stuff. We just don't succeed the end bit. <laughs> he's, let him, he's given him a short chance, I yeah. think. Here we go. Chat's filling in. A classic, classic, perfect defense making it easier. For me. <laughs> it's it's, either... like, it's like the it's like the vintage. I got a quick snap. I'm just gonna ruin my one turn setup. No yeah, reason. I've got a quick snap. Let me f up my one turn real quick. 
holding my beer. <laughs> yeah, he needed to put oh, the movement. <laughs> he needed to put the movement on the other side. The exact opposite to where he is now. Hmm. <laughs> um, hmm. That's not how you do it. Hmm. Actually, no. No, that's not how you do it. Mm. Yeah, because you needed to fill in the square to the right. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, he can do it. He can still do it. Because now he sweeps from a behind the movement and pushes. In... Yeah, it's, it's still doable. Oh, yeah, I see. So I've taken the long way, take the short way. <laughs> Message deleted. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, oh, he still needs some mouse over blocks to make sure there are two dice. I was like, I'm just making sure, mate. You never know. It's better to double check than assume. Yeah. So I think people forget I've only been playing the game a year. Like, give me a break. I'm still really bad yeah, at the game. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. That works. Uh, I'm feeling it. Well. Yeah. I'm very glad you made that a three dice, given it took the third dice for the final portion. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. James must be kicking himself at this point. God damn it, James. You had one job, James. Now watch him fail the pick up and pass. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a throw him. Watch him fail the pass. <laughs> yeah. Because he didn't keep his throw. <laughs> nice <Next> thrower, idiot. <laughs> hmm. I was, trying, I was trying to see if he could actually... He could technically find another push if he's willing to throw some more dice. Oh, there you go. But he's just gone for the knockdown. I like that. I'll oh. accept that. Please just a stop. Carry but that's completely then freed him up for the catch. Now, it's... We've got to check the backfield a second. There's tackle... There is... There's a gap with no tackle as well. Boom. Uh, that's over in between uh, Dokken and Vinipa. I mean, or Aggie and Mickey Mema. It's basically the four players on the left. Oh, he's failed the oh, pick off! <laughs> he's failed. That's the first dice he go. had to throw for this one failed. Okay. Go on. But, right, as long as he gets the pass, I think he should pass it to the guy next to him. Yeah, and yeah. Then hand off. That's exactly yeah. what he's doing. Right. There's a reroll on everything else, okay? Right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, he's got it. Now run this way. He's got it. Where the tackle? Yeah, where the tackle? In front, isn't. between, behind. Yeah. It's a what? A four plus, three plus, two plus with reroll. That's great. We've seen Spoonie Bar do weird things. Oh, he doesn't have dodge. No, he doesn't have dodge. Oh, you melon! Got it yet? All that work for no dodge, but we're gonna try anyway. Here we go. Yep. Well, He's done it. <laughs> Beautiful. Who needs dodge? James would be swearing so loudly at the moment. <laughs> but especially because he knows he did it to himself. Yeah. If he had kept the original setup, he still, you know, the chances of that happening was not that great. Congrats, you played yourself. Perfect defense. <laughs> 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 I love your work, son. Control that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait. I'm going to spoil again because I haven't got full animations on. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I know. You know what? Terrible right? human. I'm going to argue that the oh. guard being out is a problem, but the other guy is staying out. Probably not as bad because that's he, you need him more for your defensive drives. Hey, he's also safe. Yeah, wrestle, <laughs> wrestle strip. Traditionally, not that useful on a uh, on offense. True. Agi five. It, traditionally, it is Agi five. Well, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And plus dodge. That that guy actually has dodge. What is it? Oh, and welcome, welcome to the new guy that signed up. We just went up to four hundred and fifty. Yeah. Like yeah. Fair play to that's a thought for working that one out. I don't think you should have changed anything. <laughs> Bloody James, he doesn't want to go to Div 1, so he rerolls to, into full green on if he loses his... Yeah, well, that could be it. You know, maybe he's just putting on a show and then deliberately, you know, going, oh, I'll just do this. No one will ever know what I'm doing. 
James needs some really good control this half. I definitely agree with you there. Good day, Nick. Hmm. I'm gonna switch. Talk quickly to defend the control. I'm gonna switch view to be behind the elves as it's their drive. chunks with a hot burn. <laughs> You'd think a control coach would map out a one-turn defence. Ronnie Juan, thank you for the follow. I'm going to say Juan because it's funnier. It's the sole reason. He yeah, got set up for it twice. He had eight minutes to work that one out. Yeah, the one was really good before the perfect defense. Oh, short kick. Both teams getting an extra reroll. Elf's oh. catching it immediately on Shaw. I mean, I was going to say it, like, he's got cack, but then he just rolled a six. <laughs> Casual six. Casual six. Now what do? Run yeah, the brilliant coaching yeah. roll was a two two for James and a three for Azathoth, but of course James has the fame which equalised the roll. Mm. Clearly, we need five minute turns. Did no. you not see the like what two three and a three and three a hour fifteen minutes? <laughs> Could you imagine if it was five minute turns? <laughs> I mean, there was a point where during the half to, during that that like second half setup, I was already calling the Samaritans to try and find a reason to live. Have you flipped the camera, Chubster? Yeah. He has. Be behind. To really confuse me. Well, I flipped it because we we're on the Elf's Drive. So I thought it'd be fun to watch it from okay. their perspective. Fine. Fine. I can Fine. swap back if you want, mate. Oh, it's... it's just confusing, that's all. I'll yeah, say like... I better. No, you stay there, Chub. I'll, I'll swap over with you, mate, because if you start saying left and right and I'm on the other view, I'm going to get awfully confused. I mean, plus you're upside down as well, so, you know, directions are hard. <laughs> Yeah, he's only just figured out which one was left and right from being upside down. <laughs> uh, Elf played Jeez, that played that turn right. Um, I'm not sure about basing uh, Marcus Phoenix, but it doesn't matter because we're just blitzing this guy here that did nothing wrong. He did something wrong. He's an elf. <laughs> yeah, that's enough cause. Fell it. Fell it. And I fully expect base, 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 base. Burp, derp. Burp, derp. Base, base, base. Be base. Engage foul mode. Yeah, nobody swaps. I know, right, Synergy? I know. Right, I'll swap it, it, back. There you go. It, it being Chubstep's channel, it's difficult. I've swapped back. Uh, I can't control Chubstep. <laughs> you need the control team for me. <laughs> I need an adult. I don't know how to cast. Someone sent James to him. Slap, slaps cast. This cast could fit so much controller. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well played uh, on the meme. Metal's gonna end up breaking for Chubb. Oh, I swap every down. Oh yeah. Imagine that. That'd be funny. <laughs> what if he swaps every turn? <laughs> yeah. So now we have to look at the this view because they're playing. <laughs> God, that would what be. What if the... he swaps? What if he just swaps every block? Oh, God, that would be the most annoying cast ever. <laughs> You'd have to have an epilepsy warning before the cast starts. Well, I just spam the button real quick. What if free camera and just continue to psych? You know when you, you're watching a movie or something, mm. and they have that scene where the two people talking, and, and they just spin the camera around them for no yeah. reason? Wow, these fouls have been god-awful. Like, <laughs> I can almost understand why they never bothered. They've got a free bribe and they've all just went, let's not bother, because it's yeah, going to be terrible. It's not worth it, mate. Okay, it's walking like back to the elf's view. Keep the joke. I'm so Jump angry right now inside. You don't have enough badges to train me. <laughs> I I'm screaming on the inside. It's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is there going to be a recap of this round? I don't honestly know, to be honest. Um, Who, who's well, asking? Because uh, Gdynik is asking. You want to do it? You can do it. Well done, you volunteered yourself. <laughs> you played yourself, Nick. <laughs> That's how I would do it. <laughs> he mentions it. He has to do it. <laughs> Put it on default Blood Bowl 2 camera chop. It is already a... Oh no, wait, heck no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Well, I'm oh, Hello. I'm freak. Hello, mate. Well controlled. <laughs> <laughs> he, he controlled that well with his head. <laughs> Just controlling that little square of gla uh, grass. So wait, wait, you want us to stop stop referencing this? I'm afraid we can't control ourselves. <laughs> so I got put in charge of Lineman League, yeah? Cheetix gets it. Ronnie Juan, that is the sign-ups for the next season of Rebel. Um, Current of the 450. Click the counter, ring that bell! Ring that bell, ding that bell. This isn't YouTube, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> How do you sign up? You go to rebel.net slash signups, <laughs> I believe. Or check the Reddit. Someone in chat the, uh, Reddit, yeah. put that up. Yeah. Oh. Thank there you, Mel. L's hooked it up. It's pretty easy to, to, yeah. to find, navigate around Rebel. It's so much better than the old system with the <laughs> spreadsheets. You're okay, right? You know what? You're not wrong, but don't throw a shade because it's, you know, we did the best we could with what we yeah, had. No, no, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying, I mean, I made a true statement. It is better right, and easier. I'm sending Chubb's step to the Shadow Realm. I, know, no, I, I, know, I, know, I don't know how it's no, going to negatively impact this cast. No, please. It's on his stream. Please, we'll, no. It'll be fine. No. Yeah. And also, also, Ronnie, I'm not sure if you're a new player or not, but if there is any new players, we also have Reb Rel, which is the rookie league. So uh, you're more than welcome to join that if you're a new player. And also, if you are signing up now, don't forget to register for the Greenhorn 2 to get four pre-seasonal games of development in as well, which is quite nice. Four free. <laughs> four. Register now and you can get a free kettle. <laughs> I don't know. Can we make a rebel kettle? <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should, right? Oh my god, would that be not amazing? As, 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 as you know, you're, I know you're a Scotsman, but I'm pretty sure you guys drink as much tea as Oh, I drink a lot of tea, dude. Yeah, it would, you know, a, a rebel kettle would be fantastic. I would love a rebel well, kettle. You could, you could almost have your own dinner set by the end of it, you know, one yeah. day as you get your mugs. And then, you know, kettle if you win the whole thing in the actual prophecies. I'll start like doing plates. There's like... Instead of the mouse map, we'll get a plate in as the second one. <laughs> hey, you know Flipper? We've talked about how great he is. He hasn't piled on once, and he still hasn't got that ASPP he needs for Legend. Mm, very true. I, I just, we're just going to file Praetor Phoenix, right? Uh, well, Ronnie Huan, uh, welcome to Rebel, dude. Welcome. Come, come join the fun. Uh, <laughs> we, we, I like to think we're pretty good at what we do. And the fact that we've got 450 signups in under a week suggests that I'm probably right. <laughs> Rebel free piece so for <laughs> It's a little bit expensive. What kind of budget do you think I'm working on? A Rebel kidney transplant. Mm. Mm. Fake news. Well, I don't know. After, after D-Week's um, donations, you don't miss me halfway there. Well, you know what, actually? Of, of his donations, uh, it was over half came to Rebel. It was a significant chunk of change. He donated something like three hundred dollars. Wow! Uh, but not spent. all of it came to us. It was about a hundred and eighty, hundred and ninety dollars to us, and the rest went to coaches who claim the bounties themselves because clearly they don't love rebel. <laughs> Is that why? Oh, Herring's all like the money. <laughs> yeah, I, you, we sent him to the pub off of uh, off of our. Uh, Donations. Oh, well, wow, fellow. Oh, now that's a foul that worked. Oh. I didn't even know T was streaming. <laughs> oh, the bagpipes are coming in. Wretched T is. Thank you very much for the host. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had it set to bagpipes. <laughs> Why have you got it set to bagpipes? Does, Scott, does anybody on the planet enjoy bagpipes? I do. I actually do. That was Scotland yeah. the Brave. Thank you very much. Uh, I forgot also that was turned on, and that would probably be very loud. I'm very sorry. 
The elves are in a bit of a spot of bother here, I think. I, I feel like it's time to advance because they can attack through Alesh Drun, the plus movement guy, mm -hmm. and um, sweep this ball down this flank and get away from... You know, there's a lot of, of chaos on the on the other side of the pitch who are kind of going to get out of position. Yeah. He, he really needs to screen hard to try and stop Tritos from just strolling in casually and, mm -hmm. and giving him a quick slap. Um, Sunbro, thank you for the follow. I don't know what you mean by Jeff and at T, so I'm just going to ignore you. Uh, <laughs> this... <laughs> why does he keep... Uh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to control... The control... The, uh, the, 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 the key control piece by basic ah, stupid I mean it's two it's got plus, two heads two and agile it, <laughs> it can run through your tackle zones on twos it's, it doesn't care hmm. honestly reddit's super easy to use Ronnie because all you need to use it for is scheduling each week so it's, it's literally finding uh, a thread at the top of our subreddit clicking on the region that ma that, that means that that's relevant to you and then dropping a comment with your opponent's Reddit name, which you find on our website, rebel.net. Um, it's it's super easy. Honestly, it's people people make it sound more difficult than it is. You just write a comment saying, we, even if you schedule on Discord and then write on Reddit that you've scheduled for this time, that's good enough for me. <laughs> cool, Dr. Nick. What? Oh, Dr. Nick, come on. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? I mean, I mean, being fair, he's not wrong. He's not wrong, no. But it looks like the uh, the catcher I, I feel has like, I feel like that was terrible timing for Ronnie rather than <laughs> rather than it being the selling point that pushed him. Uh, that ball is not safe from two, uh, three toes at all. Like, um, I'm following up with, if you want to use Reddit more regularly, you'll need to hit yourself on the head with it. Only because if you go at the wrong subs, people can be really, really stupid. But if you actually take the 20 minutes, if you actually want to use Reddit as Reddit, take 20 minutes to con to actually, you know, curate your own all. And uh, make sure you're only signed up. Get rid of a lot of the default subs. Find the default su the, the subs that you want to be subbed to, and suddenly Reddit's actually really, really good. Also, try and I use old Reddit, people... not new Reddit, because new Reddit setup layout is so bad. <laughs> well, I tend to... Dwarfs? Um, Sharpie, there's no dwarfs. <laughs> I tend to find that the people that complain about Reddit... Reddit? Are the Reddit. Ones <laughs> Reddit, 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 Reddit. Is this, is this... Is it Wednesday already? Reddit? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I tend to find that the people that complain about Reddit are the ones that have never actually bothered figuring out how it works, and it's not that complicated. Yeah, it's like forward slash you forward slash person's name. That's it. Avengers we, Ride. We do like elves. We do. We don't need more necro. Oh no, Ronnie, stick with chorfs, mate. I definitely <laughs> do agree with that, buddy. We need more chorfs. <laughs> Quiet you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do not Especially need any you, more chorfs. If no. you're playing, yeah, if you're from Rush UK, Keaton. definitely. Two DFLs. Actually, arguably, um, yeah, I like that bringing the, the, the money. Well, the claws, oh. are the mighty blow helps. Well, arguably, probably... next season is the best season to play chaffs because the chaffening is over. Yeah, the chaffening is over. <laughs> yeah. So your entire race isn't bountied anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I only lost one chaff, but it was my best chaff. I wasn't pleased with that. Screw you, chub. You read this. Or listen to this, I should say. Well, did you lost your best chaff to a halfling team. I lost it to Deep Root, thank you. But I feel like that's your own fault. Yeah, why are you basing Deep Root? No, Deep Root. Never. I'm not I mean, chaffs are slow. <laughs> but Deep Root is <laughs> slower. But like, Deep Root's slower. <laughs> the okay, the thing was basically a bunch of uh, donation incentives for killing chaffs. We, we, we have a bounty system, which is entirely light-hearted and just a bit of fun, mm -hmm. where, say you've had a bad game, or you've someone's killed one of your players or whatever. Or you just you really don't like a player. Back with, like, say you can put five bucks on it, or a, a video game if you've got a spare game from Humble Bundle bad or rats. whatever. Um, you know, just it's mostly just a bit of fun, the bounty system. And then one of our coaches went, all right, I really hate Chaffs. I'm going to bounty their entire race. And every single Chaff killed for the entire season raises money. 
and depending on the level and skills that it has, it is worth more money. <laughs> There's a whole system. Uh, the only way a chorf player could actually get money from that bounty system was to kill his own chorf with a wizard <laughs> or something like that. Uh, you Ronnie, couldn't even go murder other chorfs. Ronnie, we don't need an elf in him because everyone likes to kill elves anyway. So <laughs> we don't need an incentive for that. There was, there was one coach that approached me and said that he felt that the chorfening made yes. him not want to play in the league. Yes. And I kind of went, but it's just a bit of fun. Yeah, and like, your armor nine and fixed skull, buddy. Like, like, well, it's not even that. that. It was more that it was a case of okay. I mean, people aren't gonna give up the shot of playoffs because they want five bucks. Yeah. Especially because, like I say, sixty seventy percent of the donations went to Rebel anyway. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Skaven. I can agree with that. I like Skaven. Yeah, I kind of. Skaven is even the most. Is that is that for real? What's wrong with the universe? That's not that's not how it normally works out. Oh god. Next minute, people catch on to that, just switch over to chorfs or dwarfs. <laughs> it's safe. Go boys. <laughs> <laughs> Jabated. <laughs> I, li I like how we're, we're setting up nice blocks and stuff. Um, but I'm a bit worried about where the ball's going to be safe. Hmm. Pretty much as far deep in his own half as possible by the looks of things. Yeah. Speaking of, of donations, actually, I've literally just received one from Razda for uh, bounties that he's had to pay out through the season. Mm hmm. Yeah, apologies for mine being late, Metal. It was one season late, but I got there eventually. <laughs> you just didn't want to pay it, didn't you, Ozzy? You I just kept on forgetting about it, to be yeah. honest, and mm. then, you know, I was. Someone reminded me about bounties, I was like, oh shit, I owe metal money. And then I was like, ah, oh, I'll sorry. just go give. Sorry, Mr. Bank Manager, I forgot to pay back the loan. You know I have found coming well, out on a beastman that does absolutely nothing. No. We've seen, we've seen, if you're wondering why we're a bit off topic, we've seen nothing but a bit of positioning from these two teams. There's... Yeah, I think, I think we're, we're going to see a nice juicy foul, though. Where's that DP? There he is. Yeah, get right him. In position. Get him. <laughs> Surely we, we blitz them from first, right? Well, oh, yeah. Finnipers and Rasputin's in range of a lot, so... That being said, I fun. think we might foul first because Rasputin probably wants to hit Simon Phoenix 2 and that's a GFI. Mm-hmm. So I think we might see the foul I first. Like, I like this. I like this. Yeah. yeah, putting some pressure on the ball. I, I You know what? I've As much as we've wound James up for the control meme, I really actually think he's positioned very, very well throughout this game. <laughs> Sam Slade, he's you banking on a past no, no. to make this work because of you the exceptional well, control from James. In overtime, I really, really don't think you do. Oh, but he did. I mean, we had to spare reroll, so screw it. Rewarded? Yeah, but overtime format. Yeah. Not rewarded enough. No. <laughs> I don't think that, that reward okay, I think I understand why he did it. In fact, I think he was very worried it's that with... a scoring threat. Yeah, if he was upright, he was a scoring threat, especially if he pushed. He kind of can. He can, you know, the Chaos team isn't as slow as people think it is. And it's not like the Elves have anyone anywhere near being a scoring threat. Yeah, there we go. Just add another. That, that'll be enough. Oh, wait, wait, hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. Oh, what? Hey, what? Did he just get confused was about what play as well? It's not worked. God, if that yeah. if he if he gets a double into if a bribe he... fail. Oh. He didn't. <laughs> Why did but that my... happen? What is it? Not like this. You know the okay, you know the no Oh Apple Main used. Don't know if I well, would have done that. Again. <laughs> uh, I, uh, no, I kind of understand. Uh, actually, uh, I I think I get where he's coming from now. He's still going to keep his um, main ball sack essential in the field and then drag his dirty player to the other down belt like he just did. But you can't foul twice in a turn. <laughs> Power no, apple. But... Power apple. <laughs> <laughs> I just... What was that? It was a... Uh... <laughs> to assert dominance of control. I don't mind the apple. I think I mind the best player on your team doing the foul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. That is a uh, old. It's mental, is what it is. It doesn't even qualify under bold. It's mental. I don't think I would have blitzed from that way. Hmm. Yeah. But he can keep pressuring. 
I think that's yeah, kind of the game. Most he's the killers it. are on the left, though. He's hmm. got. I think he's got to swing his players round to this right, right hand flank. Well, Let's try and get away from the chaos warriors and the strength. It's about control, not fails. He he controlled my sanity out the out the window uh, with that foul. Mm. <laughs> So it was an interesting line of play, I'll give it that. I, I want that to be a, a misclick because that can't have been intentional. That just that's just staggering if that was intentional. <laughs> yeah. Like the only thing I could think of is like in his mind, his logical mind, he's there going, well, I do put someone behind uh, Simon Phoenix. At least it's not a 2 plus, mm. like an easy 2 plus dodge to get further into my own field. Like he's now got to run backwards if he wants to dodge out yeah. of there comfortably. But I'm pretty sure it would have been but, better the other way around using your tackle player. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm. <laughs> Jeez, X is correct. If James loses this because he gave up the easier one turn, he's going to be so mad. If James mad. loses this because he gave up the easier one turn, he's never going to win it down. Yeah. yeah. It's oh. almost on par with me. No! Oh, These elves, I think they're going to the orc school of GFIs. <laughs> I suppose. Oh. oh, we already had tackle on him, my mistake. And we've used the reroll. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh. Oh, he's just badly hurt. He's fine. Oh. I wish he had an and apple. The power apple has already came in. Power apple dropped already. <laughs> Got one. I. I hmm. Hang on. Right, so. Does he have a scar on threat? He does currently have a scar on threat. But, James is a really good friend of Rumblebee and will not fall for the whole not blitzing the scoring threat. I think he's good too. Yeah, he does. Is, is that just Charlie range? Yep. Ah, oh, I think I think we're going to see a score next turn. I don't. I think we've got to blitz out Phoenix, um, Phoenix Foundation, and we've got to mark up Chol as heavily as we can. Uh, agreed. Because he just he's ran out of options. He's ran out of time. It's it's time to put the touchdown in. I think. Yep. Turn fourteen, not a bad time to score. Hang on. Could we be going? He could Jeez. double GFI onto. He's got three scoring threats. Well, we got him down, and I expect we're going to apply the boot. Marcus Phoenix is probably a scorer. But yeah, he is. But of course, being down. <laughs> Controlled. Down. Well, no, it's not. It's, it, even just being down means that obviously he can't throw to him first. Oh, yep. Which means he has to stand him up, get to the end zone. Uh, oh, I, I like this. Fouling now is the right time. Yes. Because if he this can is a stun, the other two. which it is, it, it now means you don't need the tackle on him. So you can switch. Well, the tackle's irrelevant against either of these other two players. But the body will help. Yep. There you there go. We go. No easy two and also, dodge. bearing in mind, the AG4 is an intercept threat. Yeah, why blitz with that player? Uh, cause he didn't have tackle. Uh, no, he didn't didn't need tackle for that blitz. So yeah, yeah screw it. Just he just needed block. all he wanted was a knockdown. Yeah. Nice control, yeah. He's actually doing okay. Every player apart from the ball is marked. That catcher doesn't have nerves of steel because this isn't a pro else team. <laughs> um... <laughs> the, He's the sting. Oh, sorry. Go on. It's, I don't know really what options he's got. I think his best play is to maybe one dice Alesh Drun out of the way and then run at the end zone, stand up Phoenix Foundation and hope he doesn't roll a six on the intercept. It's, it's, it's a terrible plan. But otherwise, your only other choice is to box back up and get trapped in this tiny area of field with the Chaos team just advancing on you. And at that point, shooting out of that gap is gonna. Yeah, it looks, looks like, like they're bravely running away. 
Plessy with the ball. Oh, okay. Oh. Rowdy. And he's gone round the horn. I, I think you've got to reroll. And that's pretty much all of his movement gone. Mm. And nothing else. Well, just tight cage. But, but with that, that player going? not knocked down, I, I think this has gone awfully wrong for Azathar, I think. Yeah. It's just a free plus to get a two die on the ball right now. With wrestle. Yeah. I think that's the one I would have blitzed. <laughs> Honestly. He's got to mark that off better. Yeah. You can dodge Joaquin Phoenix out and mark the top corner of him. Top back left of the wrestler. And that basically kills that threat. But then there's the threat of Fnipper doing a dodge, even. Because Chaos Warriors are AG3, then it's not a Nurgle team. True. <laughs> I, you there, know how it doesn't. You know how it doesn't go to overtime. It go, doesn't go to overtime because James ends up scoring on the elf drive. I think he there's could. A, there's a real risk that this elf is going to get scored on. Mm. Yeah. Um. There may have been some team push shenanigans that could have happened, but we, we moved too quickly for anyone to work that out. Um. It was one of those situations that I, I glanced at it before while while James was setting it up, but then I just thought it moved very fast. When I glanced at it, it did look like you could I could you could sense that there was probably one in position there, but I couldn't pick it out in time. There you go. That's a nice move. Yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly where he needs to be to, to kill the dodge, and that kind of kills the flipper threat. So, True. Technically, a three plus dodge double GFI still puts Fnipper at butt to the ball. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be one dead scoring threat. Yeah, Z, this is the last round of 64 game. We've actually, we're actually fairly heavily in the schedule for the next one. Oh. I've just picked up the Ornan versus Jimmy and Rick game. Oh, that, that should be a good one. What time is that one at, by the way, Metal? Uh, 18.30 uh, UTC on Thursday. Ah, bugger. So basically the worst time for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Like, I was having a chat to um, Rick in our oh. Minor Graduates Discord Bollocks. channel. And, um, and yeah, I was just there going, oh, what time? And he goes, oh, yeah, that. I'm like, can you make it a Friday? It would work a little <laughs> bit better for me. Like, mm -hmm. that, that's Saturday for me. Option here, yeah. Oh, no, we're going this way. Interesting. I still don't know how Rick didn't get Rookie of the Year. Like, votes, obviously, but... I was gonna say, he, he, did, he yeah. didn't vote for him? Yeah, the, the still. Who did get Rookie of the Year? Okay, that that's not how you set up your dodge with Fnipper. So he's not going for the ball this time. No. There was an option the, uh... to go through Phoenix Eke. Oh, um, Z, no problem, man. As soon as... I mean, ge I'm generic gamer, kind of. I didn't really know that much about him. Until he started, he was clipping a bunch for uh, Chaos. No, was it Chaos Cup we had the other week? The overnight one? Yeah, it was Chaos Cup. We're just he going clipped a bunch of clips, and he was—he's really good at picking up uh, solid action and stuff. So as soon as he, I saw him start clipping for the playoffs, I was like, "Yep, yeah, get in touch with Z." <laughs> oh, so use wrestle. Yeah, I like that. He was yeah. on the ground. He's not scoring throw. True. Also, literally not scoring threat because he's a lineman and doesn't have the yep. movement. The do we? I think we foul. We need to foul Marcus Phoenix because that could be how the elves get away with murder here. Yeah, that's still a scoring threat. We have to do it. You could bring down Fnipper if you wanted, but I'd rather Fnipper stays in this area. Uh, yeah, I think I'd like to. Oh. Keep Fnipper's strength. Yeah, in keep the it player. up there. You know, one assist, Comes mighty blow, armor seven. It paid if off. He doesn't get this though. It paid off big. Oh, it huge. Did. Well, I bet you appreciate that apple now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, that has held several players back at threat of him being there, so it does make. I'm not going to bash on him too much because it makes a certain amount of sense. But obviously, it was a very, very scary decision to have to make. Cheese exit. Oh, wait, no. Um, I thought you were saying is this the first game 
Is it the first game? I think it might be the first game. No, no, there isn't. There's one no. scheduled like ten night or something it's stupid. Um, Thursday morning, like straight after the round rolls at one a.m. The ball pinches are taking on common nightmares. <laughs> the ball pinchers. <laughs> That's uh, Nick. Cast by Michaels and Rusty Seabutter, so that should be a great. Oh, cast, yeah, Rusty. I agree with you, Nick. There, um, having three toes down, you know, has given him a chance to, you know, slightly, well, a slight chance to get away. Yeah. Maybe, but it's still gonna, you know, I mean, three toes can probably get there. In time. I don't know. I don't know. He That's also he needs to also try and get some more scoring threats down the pitch, as along along with this. He definitely needs to get the ball down the pitch. I think he's just actually using the ball carrier as the touchdown at this point. Mm. But he's going to have to bring Aster Phoenix out to two plus to get above him. But I think he's got to slip Chol around below, like through, like a three plus two plus. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Synergy. It is. This has been a good game to cast from a for a birthday. Oh, is that actually your birthday? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, mate. Uh, meanwhile, we see a failed dodge from an elf. Oh, that's, that's not how you dodge. Fail, because the ball is utterly exposed. If this is a snake, it's all gone wrong. The worst part now is that, yeah, he's... That's Chol, that. Chol now has a hell of a time to get through. Well, not just that, but he's got to do this GFI. Like... Oh, this is so terrifying. The nipper's in range. Cheers, guys. Oh, no. And, yeah. Uh-oh. Okie dokie. Uh oh going to get sacked. spaghetti off. 100% flipper action on that ball, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you just blow a reroll regardless. I think I've derailed the cast. <laughs> <laughs> Cerulean Claw, thank you for the follow. That's a birthday follow for you there, mate. <laughs> Pity it's, not, yeah, pity it's not on your channel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, it is a GFI from, from Flippo. Yeah, but... Mm. One, two, four. One, two, three, if you don't go for it, you you, you don't win. Yeah, you, you throw a re-roll at this uh -oh. every Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, fat foul. No break, though, which is... Catches the ball. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's easy, light. It's a casual catch. You know. I'll take I, I, that. Yeah, no, oh, quick! He's, oh, oh. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. I mean, Just he actually is, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's proper dead. I mean, the actor. Uh, is he still oh. going? Unconfirmed. <laughs> that's a good. That's ultimate control. Yeah, get the F's out there for that control play. Yeah. With uh, one turn to get up the pitch, though, we're going into overtime, obviously. Uh, is there going to be much of a team left? Well, apparently he isn't. I thought he was. For some reason, I thought he was, but apparently not. No, okay, I mean, good. the Chaos can score. They oh, River, River is, yeah, of course. I was, thank you, Lily Baz, for <laughs> little, little Baz. Little Baz, I want to be kind of go. That's enough. God, that's such a fat pow. Whoop, I'm a break. The fun thing is, he never gets to be a killer goal. He always gets to be the sure hands goal. <laughs> <laughs> At least on Davos teams, anyway. Uh, can he get there? Yes, he can. There's one player uh, left. Hand off and then I pass and then drop. There's one hope for Azathoth, and it just. is He's still alive after that one. Like, I might have re rolled that. No. Because that player is still a scoring threat, right? There's a chance. We just rot. We just red dye the ball and somehow pick it up and give it to this boy and score. <laughs> right. You know what? Right. When when you've got no good options, sometimes you just take the bad option. Yeah. Yeah. You throw dice and just hope that a good result. Get, comes get him in the end zone. Uphill flipper with um, a Rachel. dodge out from Aster Phoenix. Oh yeah. Yeah. To bring flipper down, and then you've got Rachel Summers because like, it's an uphill anyway. It doesn't matter if you block it through guard or not. It's strength four. Yeah. So up him with oh, Aster Phoenix, because frankly at this point, if if it fails, oh, you don't want your good player yep. getting clawed. Go. That'll have to be re-rolled. That'll have to be re-rolled. 
Oh, oh no. no. Push pow, push pow. But Worst you, possible. You could you know possibly but make it tricky. Off, that would have been an incredible play. Yeah, it would have been a great play. Um, now what we're going to see is just trying to make Basically. it so that the Chaos can't score. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. And so basically, I'm control. Uh, that being said, if you put too many surf. bodies into the problem, it's not even yeah. necessarily a surf. If you put too many bodies into the problem, it's a chain push to clear them. This is the mistake a lot of people make: is sometimes they you, you they try and pile in when it's just easier to hover near. I always enjoy it when an opponent just throws in like three players around my ball carrier. I'm just like, well, that's an easy blitz. I mean, right now, all you need to do is move the dirty player up next to Phoenix Foundation, the block lineman. Move the warrior across next to the guy that just blitzed, and then blitz from Dokken on the diagonal. Yeah. If you knock down Aster Phoenix, that pushes out Phoenix Foundation. And boom, bang, a bang, your ball's completely clear. I was looking at that, but the other way, but yeah, that way works. The, dif the difficulty, obviously, is then the pass because you know you've got a beastman in one. T you you pass into Aggie because it's an easier catch and an easier dodge. Well, it's easy dodge for both. The same I dodge think for both James Aggie. spotted it. Yep, <laughs> just put one more, fill in the space above the goat. That's not how you do it, James. Hello. Oh, you, you do that way, I suppose. Yeah. Straight down. Push is not good enough. I think you got to re-roll. If you, if you're serious about going for this touchdown, but yeah. I don't think you re-roll because I wouldn't. I don't like that because that you've got the hardest bit still to come, which is the, the passing pass and stuff and the handoff. Yep. We're gonna. Do, we're just gonna do it right now. Yeah. Everything's in three plus territory, and four. Oh my. Well, that's the pass. So that's one SBP for Nippo. He's a sick one six nine. That puts him at seven to go. Now we've got to run over, hand off on a 4 plus, and then dodge 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. Oh, 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 hey, wait, wait. We're alive. Hey, That's hey. Do, it, do it, James. Oh, do it, no! James. <laughs> no! The trip so wire. close. Oh. He did all the hard stuff. I <laughs> thought, thought he was going to do a spoonie on me there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't he end up in like. Is that like what happened to the poor Patriots like, with Deflate Gate? Brady sunk his claws into the ball accidentally. He didn't just happen to let some air down. Mm. Oops. I get people get angry back. when I mention the Patriots. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's sorry, an NFL thing. Patriots, mm. yeah. Well, two of the chaos came back. Oh, and James, this is the darkest of timelines. I mean, he's got the player back he needs, which is Jean Grey. <laughs> but there's only eight players left, mm. and there's there's a lot more than eight on the chaos team. Tripwire control, yeah. I don't know. What's that? What's that clip, by the way? I think it was the the blitz on the ball into catching it. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a good clip. I, I I think yeah, Z Z. Basically, I think you need to stick that one in your uh, too long didn't watch mate, because that was a good that was a good clip. Summed up, so good at controlling, they can control the ball with their minds and make it land in their hands. Here we go. <laughs> he really controlled that ball, didn't he? Yeah. But he couldn't control the GFIs. If only he didn't have to use reroll earlier in the turn. Clickety clickety clack. Oh dear. <laughs> That's so cool. Nuffle piling on right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Wow, <laughs> these elves are eleven. I think he needed this though, as a minimum, right? Hmm. Control that reroll. <laughs> ah, 
I'm a bright. <laughs> I like how the, the one without any hurty skills, like controlly skills, done that. Because uh, yeah, this is the key to James's team, it's control. <laughs> you don't need kill skills, you need control skills. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear a word so many times that it begins to lose all meaning? Yes. Is it the word control? Yes. Are we going to stop? No. No. <laughs> Ozzy, <laughs> Ozzy with the right answer. Stru snap right. That's what, I knew I liked you, Ozzy. Oh, well. We've spinned the pick up. We're going to take that reroll and use it. There we go. Ball safely controlled. Tripwire strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine the meme of like James Typhoon's ball control. It's just there with a claw, like trying to stab the ball constantly. <laughs> and the foul. I, I definitely like this foul. I like it a lot. It's pretty good. <laughs> and that's another removal. And, and bear, bearing in mind, every removal at this point is a death. It's as good as killing the guy. Yeah. Surprisingly, both bribes remain unused. Where to be I... fair, the elves have only fouled like once. Mm. Was it twice? Is it first half only? Three times, yeah. lady. No, um... I I don't know what Azathoth has got left in the tank for this now. I think it's. I feel like it's a one dice blitz through Sturge into just flooding the gap between the Chaos guys and the ball, no. and I don't think we're going that way, but I think that was the only real playthrough. Yeah, but he's not. It's not really a flood when it's two people. <laughs> yeah. Tra chaos traditionally, so traditionally floods are slightly more numerical than two. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Three. I, I still don't think that's enough, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> more of a drizzle. <laughs> Taking a GFI for. Some it's, it's more of a. It's not so much a flood as it is a light mist of elves. It's called Scottish <laughs> which, summer. Which frankly, is is all that's left of uh, Joaquin Phoenix as well. Is a light mist. Oh, it's gonna be a light, passive light mist on the on the pitch. Oh dear. Oh no, he spooned it. Oh god. Yeah, I c I couldn't remember which one Sturge was. Right. <laughs> He's on him. He's on him though. He's on him, but it's an easy, easy two plus dodge just to stroll away casually. Yeah. Or a blitz, frankly, if yeah. you want to. And this, the light mist of elves isn't going to really get in the way because none of the chaos guys, apart from one, are based up. So there's a there's a, a ready made cage. Just add water because of the theme we're going with so far. Not keeping the rear rolls for kicks. It's not going to kicks. I, I'm 100% convinced this isn't going to kick. I'm not going to kick. I don't need, I don't need Superfed to yell at me to tell me it's not going to kick. <laughs> Someone's oh, desperate for way, a bingo. By the way, Superfed is incredibly happy um, with the fact that I had to cast a 3 hour 15 minute game the other day. He's like over the moon. Oh, this helps him in this crusade to get turn timers reduced, right? Well, I think he was like, can, can we move it to the low? And I was like, no. No. <laughs> An exception does not prove the rule. Actually, Harringzord, you can. I, I think Harringzord, I don't know if he's got it on mute or if he's got it on voice. You can control kicks. Kicks by seven rerolls. Nicely done. Harringzod is, is often watching these games from work, so if you're wondering why I typed that one, I thought it was an important enough point to make. Yes. I mean, he might be on, he might, he might have some voice, but uh, he might not because he wasn't. <laughs> no, he told me earlier he was muted. And I think we're going to see the Blitz come in, Rasputin and straight on to his, yep. Jean Grey. Jean Grey. Yeah. The oh, best oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh. Spaghetti, oh. Uh oh, I love that animation. I'm a break. Two. I hate that animation. What, the two-footed kick? It's not the two-foot kick, it's the flip afterwards is insane. It's so great. He's <laughs> wearing, two -foot he's wearing half plate. Look at the size of the guy's armor. How the yeah, hell yeah, but does he do that? But he's such he's a big, strong his... boy. He's strong. <laughs> he ate his greens. <laughs> Look at this chungus. Was, 
With the springs in them. Jesus. <laughs> Acme shoes. Chaos warp magic. The belly flop afterwards is the best part. That's just for style swag. Swag. Right, if you look at the if you look at the physique of these warriors, right? I, I know I know some dudes in real life who are built like these guys. They couldn't do that. This is a fantasy game. <laughs> no, I can I can get behind orcs and elves and stuff. I just can't get behind a big guy doing a flip kick. I, I still remember the first time I saw it, and I just was like, "What the like?" <laughs> it just I just you know what? Right? Out of all that, of them, it, just, heavily armored it pieces. feels like it'd be brilliant for like an elf or something. It, it I think it's. <laughs> oh no! Come on, these elves oh cannot do a fight. They really Not can't. I mean, it's just really opened the way for the and chaos. And he's lost just... his last reroll, so it's it's done. This one's <laughs> done. It's done it. Yeah, it's just a question of how many elves are left on the pitch before James scores. I think I just think it'd look. It just feels weird. Like the Nurgle ones. When you watch a Nur all of the Nurgle block animations, they're massive. There's like the backhand. Oh yeah. Um, and there's the massive standing front kick. You know what I mean? There's there's impact. There's they're using their bulk. That just feels really out of Ooh, place. Double pow. Not even Welcome to Pow Town. Terrible. Population, Population. Fred of Phoenix. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the big Spartan kick from the Nurgle, Nurgle Warriors is nice. No, they're not on it. They're not dreadful. Hang on. It's biased from you, Swagtos, because you hate Nurgle. The Nurgle animations, they're big, they're Control meaty. Control GFI cause... fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going. We're going for Jean Grey. I haven't played them for a season. You're the one that hates them randomly. Kill, pretty much a death. Yep, that's. Well, to be honest, that's pretty much the end of the game because that was his one hole. That player yep. right there. So, uh, as as you just run your players away from any potential threat now no, and just no. concede it. This is like, what you do. You get Phoenix, Arizona, and you just cage dive. <laughs> I, 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 Ottoman, I, love the, I love the TD on the Warriors where they just like do the thumbs down, laugh and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> now do a handy and cage dive. <laughs> With what? Uh, two GFIs and a whole bunch of dodges. I've decided I really don't like Chill after all. Whap. <laughs> Thank you, Swag Dusk. You can stay. For what? He just likes the Chaos Drop Kick. Uh, you know what? I, I like the animation. I just wish it was on a, a, a player that it made more sense on. Mm. Uh, Especially because when you're hitting someone with claw, and then you drop kick them when there's no claws in your feet. I mean, could you imagine the Beast of Nurgle doing that? <laughs> white, the un <laughs> actually, the undead have incredible pylon animations. The white... And the mummy are both really, really good. Don't you well, just try to He went dive. for the ball. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah, kudos. He could have just ran away, but yeah, good on him. It's, yeah. Yeah, I think you had to, really. No, I agree on that one. I, I really felt robbed that Kislev. For all of their other amazing animations, then when we'll have the human let's uh, arm animation. We'll have that one, please. Actually, best piling on dark elf the matrix over oh, the camera yeah, going around yeah right yeah. is nah. it bm if i suggest running the timer up by running clint up the field to level him <laughs> i think he's going for it is that bm because that's i in this situation on this field i would totally do that <laughs> i would have rerolled that for greed <laughs> <laughs> no, because if if you were gonna if you're gonna do what I suggest, you want the reroll on the um, so clean. the handoff. Uh, Is that? But am I being BM by saying that would be the best player? Maybe. Yeah, they don't really pile on. They kind of just stand on them. <laughs> That's controlled BM. <laughs> Everything James does with this team isn't control. It's just control. Yeah. But yeah, no, James leveling Clint for his next game would be huge. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, that, that player is in dire need of guard, so it's probably going to take mighty blows to control things better. Oh. Generating a cheeky little two die there. The Rat Ogre into a end player is really good because it does this weird table flip double upwards uppercut with its hands. Mm. Um, that's really good. It's weird that they've literally put specific block animations in for natural fend players. Like, for natural frenzy, frenzy players. Oh dear. When they hit fenders. He's doing it. Hold maybe. up. Wait a minute. Maybe he's caught on to James's plan. Now you've freed so up Clint. Well, you're not leveling him. Well, maybe you just blitz with him every turn. Yeah, but Blitz the rookie. Blitz the catcher. Armor 7. No, because it's armor well, 7, yeah, but it's got blocks. So it's hard to knock yeah, down. Fair what enough. you'd probably want to do is blitz uh, Rachel into Clint. You know, what just I'm piling on animation is incredible. The moonsault, so good. I just want someone to swanton bomb. Oh wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> the people's the elbow from the the Kizla, uh, from the Norse is really good. Piling on. Is that the piling on animation or is that the filing? Uh, both. Both. If it's, if it's the berserker, they do the piling on people's elbow. Yeah, it's well, so we good. guess he's not using. I don't like this play of not leveling the warrior. I think it's a mistake. Nah. Uh, he's He's, him. He's going to control the MVP the and he's going to get the MVP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to see him using. Where's Fnipper? Fnipper. Fnipper. Fnipper as well. Yeah. Well, Fnipper's going to hit the, uh, the catch up. Fnipper needs tackle really badly. Yeah, he, well, he, also, it's really, really nice to have a legend, right? Oh, we might try and level up the beastman here. Alicia Drun, movement seven. That wouldn't be a bad play either. But of course, that's, I don't know, it's an interesting position to set up to. Setting up the free dice. Go on, re roll it. There we go. <laughs> he agreed, re it. <laughs> well, that, okay, if. Is this BM? <laughs> this is, is this BM? Oh, we're gonna see our first piling on, I reckon. Just do it. Oh, just ruin it for me, KO. Do it. Doctor, just pile Doctor on Foot? now. No, Doctor come Foot. on. <laughs> Calling Dr. Foot. Paging Dr. Foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's too many big old threats, best make them kill each other. <laughs> Usually they kill each other prior to the playoffs yeah. by murdering each other's teams two weeks before the end of the round, uh, end of the season. I don't know if you've realised this, but big old. That's how big old does it. <laughs> phenomenal at, um, at absolutely destroying their own playoff chances by murdering each other's teams. I, for one, um, I'm not opposed to that. I don't know why oh. they aren't. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the theory of what doesn't kill us makes us stronger and it just keeps on failing. <laughs> but I, I was going to say, but it does kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'd agree with that if it wasn't killing you. <laughs> Chop hates by gold confirmed. Whoa, I never said that. You do, though. No. I mean, you do. Is this a cage dive? Right. He's, he's got the dodge, he's like, uh, what do I do next? One, two, three, no. He can get in there if he just goes directly at the, at, at the, at the problem through the Chaos Warrior and the Beastman. Dokken, yeah. And if he comes in next to the Beastman, it's a one, it's a Juan Diaz. Oh my. Okay. And uh, no. You could have went round. Yeah, they didn't have the movement. They did not? Okay. Nah, no, because they I already used one. Ah, I see. Yeah. That was his only yeah. choice, really. It's over. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, that's BM. That's BM. <laughs> <laughs> that's not BM. You know, he, he's got to get the yardage points up, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's got to get his running yards up to. <laughs> Here we go. The coach is there, like, going, you know. You need to be fit. Run a little bit extra. James's team is BM. 
but it's no, a, no. The it's the only team is Control. Control it's man. Control. Yeah, Davo versus Sandu, and I'm looking forward to it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, there we go. The How to the dead say, one to screw you, you. <laughs> entirely? <laughs> oh, the MVP. Ah uh, well, and uh, that'll be the uh, one true path, safe, James. making it through to the next round. Um, yep. Not as brutal as it could have been. <laughs> not as brutal as it's gonna be. It could have been you say watching as the MVP lands on a dead. Hey, look, well, look, look. I was, <laughs> I was just trying to, you know, make it seem better. James, can uh, I just ask uh, why but... you didn't bother moving the block warrior up and handing off to him? <laughs> that, that disappointed me. <laughs> yeah, we, we sort of picked up on you, a couple of your fuck ups. <laughs> well, that's kind of our job. Yeah. Uh, the whole perfect defense. Good job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Imperfect defense. Oh Jesus. Oh, and then that last um, blitz to free up the warrior as well. Um, like you did generate a three nine for it. But... <laughs> my phone rang. I look back and my sacker is fouling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect defense. We're all there going. What the? <laughs> was it? Was it somebody ringing you up to go? Hello. What was that? Perfect defense. <laughs> yeah, what was the go with that one? <laughs> it's probably <laughs> it's so dumb. I love James. You know what? You know what I like about James though is no matter what, right? He can take he can take it. He's not gonna go off in a huff or whatever. Um... Mm. No, James, tip top, and congratulations, James. Uh, doing big O proud there with the two one win. Nicely Very controlled, glad James. to see that. Well yeah, controlled. actually, you know what? That was actually a controlled game. Besides <laughs> no. all the bashing, he did actually have a lot of good field positioning and control of the field. I during, said that during the game. The I mean, his yeah. his pitch positioning was really, really good. Hmm. You know what I mean? He he set up his play as well. He he played around you know the the setup of the elves. So as much as we gave him like grief because of the control memes he actually did control the pitch nicely in his yep. in terms of his position yeah. good reminder monkey chunks get your tips in because you never know when you oh, might yeah. just close the tips without telling anyone what's this you're out. not re-rolling because you're mad <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> no just keep the no. control team going man. the real reason i think he's not re-rolling is because we've all just realized that given the amount of re-rolls that that big o has um, there's a very real chance that, that Crusader isn't going to get demoted despite, despite his performance last season. And therefore, um, <laughs> he, just, he just wants to make Crusader sadder. <laughs> like, like, you think I'm joking? I'm not. <laughs> Monkey Chunks have drawn up a draft of the, uh, of the big O already. And unless oh, you get he? significantly more people deciding they don't want to re-roll after all, or, um, or, you know, there's a miracle. Crusader's staying in Div 1. Oops. <laughs> well, James, you don't get to um, muck around with uh, Papa Nasty, but hey, there's always a good, you know, consolation prize of Crusader. Yeah, so you get to you get to listen to Crusader be huffy for an entire season. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, with Rich's tea, I want that to happen so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that'll, uh, that'll do it for the cast. Uh, thank you very much to, to Metal <laughs> and Ozzy for turning up for the co uh, hosting. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, man, thank you for having me, dude. Uh, was, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a great time. Really enjoyable yeah, getting to watch, to be honest. Yeah, it was, it was pretty yeah, good. It was. Uh, thank you very much to, of course, Rich's tea for that sweet host with 21 viewers. Uh, and for all the follow follows we got here. Um, too many to count. Um, many, many. <laughs> and Juan sign up during the game. Yeah. Too many amazing. to count because you're Scottish and any number above four is confusing. Also, I'm very hungry and I want to eat some food. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Later, all.